Hello guys, this is a review for Clearlight Premier IS-1. Uh, it's an infrared sauna. I received it last week on Tuesday. Now it's been a week after I received it. I've been using it around approximately every day. I'd say maybe skip one or two. But um, I'm ready. I'm going to get ready to jump into it um, after this. It's a great sauna. It's been the week and all I can say is it's amazing. You feel the benefits, your skin, uh, your mood, your body aches. It all goes away with this amazing, beautiful machine. This is how I have it set up. Um, I definitely recommend it. It's been really, really good. If you have uh, more space and money and are willing to invest in the electrical work, I would definitely say go for the bigger unit. Uh, here, I don't know if the camera can focus, but it's plugged in into a regular unit, so it's wonderful for that. Um, it still has the, the mood lighting. Um, you can get the chromotherapy for this one. I did not get it. You can also get the, the heater that would go um, right here, pretty much. Um, all those upgrades are, they range from $500 to $1,500, depending on the upgrade. There's holotherapy, um, chromotherapy, light therapy, um, what else? We also have, of course, the extra heater. It's a 300 watt, I believe. And then we go right here on those two pegs. I think also the red light therapy would also go on there as well, um, which would be a nice inclusion. Unfortunately, on this thing... I believe that you wouldn't be able to have the red light therapy and the um, 300 watt because this has no space for it and it only has these two pegs for it here. So I don't think it would fit anywhere else. And on the top it has nothing so I don't know where it would attach. But it's an amazing, just standard. This is the basic model. It has no extra additions or anything extra. It's just a basic model. And it, it's amazing. Um, if you could go for the additions, um, it would be awesome. You can also add a diffuser, which right there in those pegs, you can plug it in. Um, and also there's an extra power cord there. I think that would be for the vibration renaissance therapy, which would go under the bench. Um, that's also another upgrade. I think that's... I think it's five hundred dollars. I'm not sure, but um, that's a, also another upgrade. Um, the bench I have it set up with the white towels, as you can see. Um, I have that one flat, but you can use the ergonomic side. I haven't tried that one yet because I found that it's pretty comfortable with those white towels there. Um, what else? Putting it together, it was quite painful. I'd say. Just because it's a trial and error. If you never put one of these together, it was the first time. It was quite, um, it was quite tedious. I'd say if you are with the um, availability of people, I'd say have three to four people help out with this. It makes makes everything much more easier. Um, once you get that, you first put that backside, um, and then you put the left. And then you put the right, and then you put the front, and then the top. It's pretty simple, but it has two pegs where you have to slide the, towards the back. And you have to pick these walls up. Um, you might be strong, but the problem is you have to hug it all completely up. And you have to angle it in the corners, which is the problem. Um, one is at the very top, and then one is like at the middle, right there in between the uh, panels. Uh, it's like on that third wooden um, it's right there. So it is pretty tedious to locate those on both sides and then here as well. The door was the one that was the most difficult, I'd say, to put together because of the glass. You definitely don't want to uh, have this fall. And then once you set them all up, you anchor them down with the roof. Now, if you don't have those other two, three walls settled together how they're supposed to, this thing could come forward or come in and collapse on you. And of course, you don't want that. We were so close to having that problem. Um, 
And then the roof. The roof was... It wasn't heavy, but picking it up over your head... I'm about 5'7", so... Uh, carrying it around was easy, but putting it over my shoulders and into up here, and then you have to angle the cables and all of these things you have to connect up top up here. Um, so all of those things are pretty pretty difficult on yourself on your own. If you can do it, um, amazing. But if you can't, I definitely say three to four people would be awesome to work with this. Um, so. One thing that I, I didn't I read on this it was the the control pad. So I'm quite interested in this. I don't know if okay, we got the zoom. So as you can see, we have the temperature and we have the time. It's getting ready. It takes around maybe uh 30 minutes to reach around, around 140. Um it is quite slow a little bit, but um once you're inside 120 or 130, you start sweating after a few minutes. Um so right there, that little bulb tells us that the, I think it's the, I don't know what it's called. It, the the manual doesn't have any um, instructions on this. So right now it's on B. So that tells us if it's the color blue. So if we switch right here, it'll be red and green. So I think it would um, cycle through them. Or I think it just creates a neutral color. I don't know. You can't really see it on the camera. But then we choose another one. And it would go to blue now. Then it's listed right there, green and blue. We put red. I don't know why the B stays, but I think red and blue make pink. So that's where we have the pink color. Pretty cool. Then we cycle through. This is the off. So when it's off, you won't see any letters there. And then you have the three letters blinking. That's when it's cycling through. So right now it'll cycle to green and then blue and then back and forth. So it, and right here it shows you... The flashing so this is this panel is on the outside you do have one right here on the inside i don't know i don't want to go in there and disturb because once you open the door the temperature drops and it drops quite dramatically and you don't want that of course but that's pretty much the control panels you have this identical one on the inside on the other side so you can't control it while you're on the sauna um you have this light bulb right here that will turn on that's this inside bulb you click it and it turns on in the inside um, that one right there, it comes pre-assembled. Um, idiot me. I thought it was just randomly. I recommend once you get the packaging, don't mess with it. Don't change it because it's quite difficult if you don't know how it's supposed to go, how you're going to re-put it again. So that's what I believe it's the proper way to put it. Also, that thing is was quite uh, difficult to put. So it comes with um, the two screws that you're supposed to put in and then you're supposed to take apart the bulb that's coming in there and you're supposed to attach the the screws in there and you're supposed to make the hole yourself um on other models i've seen that they, the holes are pre-made so you don't have not you don't have to measure on mine it didn't come like that it was all i have to guess so i did make a mistake and i made a hole in the in the sauna that i did not want to have but um i definitely recommend um uh, getting your measurements right before you make the hole. And the perfect part, you don't have to use anything. You just basically twist the the screw in there and it will screw on. It's pretty, pretty easy. The wood is not weak, but it's pretty easy to uh, screw into. So that's that. Um, and that's pretty much it for that light. So you also have another one right here, which is the outside one. I don't use this one too much um, because I'm afraid that it might go out. Um... And it lights pretty good. We do have light in here in the room, so we don't typically need it. And, of course, the light in here is pretty bright on its own. Um, right here, we have the temperature. All this does, it would just change to Celsius if you like, if you don't like Fahrenheit. Um, the aux cord, I'm not sure what this does. I haven't used it because on the inside, um, if you can see that switch right there, that black little circle, um, when you... Right now it's plugged in, but I can't play music because of copyright, but it is pretty loud. Um, you switch it when you have it on there. You connect it to Bluetooth on your phone, and that's it. Um, pretty loud, pretty nice music system. That's the hatch to let the heat out. Um, I never pretty much open it, maybe when I feel like it's too hot in there. Um, what else? 
I do plan on getting the aromatherapy because I put a little glass with hot with water and essential oils on it, but it doesn't work too well. So I think I'm gonna get the um, diffuser for this because it definitely is amazing. This is basswood, by the way. Um, it's the choice between cedar and basswood. Uh, cedar is a bit more pricey, of course, um, but basswood, I think you're not losing too much. And I think the color fits well here with my setup. So, I mean, basswood is pretty good. Um, but yeah, I recommend this jacuzzi Clearline Premier One. It's an amazing jacuzzi. It's an amazing sauna. Sorry for the mistake there. Uh, it's an amazing sauna. It's great for your health. After that busy day, stressful at work, pain, arthritis, you name it. Amazing, amazing equipment. Um, beautiful, beautiful. I, I definitely always look to getting into this every time I get throughout the day. Sometimes the morning, sometimes right now, like at the night time. Um, one last thing. It's a little bit of a pet peeve, but these right here, you are supposed to put plug in something here to block these. Um... Unfortunately, mine weren't able to put in there. They keep sliding off. The manual isn't too... It isn't very um, explainable on this. It just says you put them in. But it also doesn't let you know if this is supposed to face forward or face inside. I've seen other videos and they all have them facing outside. Some have it the other way around. The manual has this circle like this. But other people have it the opposite way. So that's just another another thing that you might have to research. But, um, I mean, it still works. It's just a cosmetic thing right here. This also was super easy to install. Um, the glass door opens pretty easily. You just open. I don't want to open it because of the temperature. As you can see, it was, it's already 128 right now. Um, but other than that, it's an amazing, amazing, amazing product. I recommend it. Um, if you're able to obtain this i recommend it so much um and thank you for watching this video and have a nice day thank you